<laughs> oh god. I think Morrowind is probably the most playable, like the old the oldest game that is still playable today. <laughs> Even if it is a little bit rough. <laughs> it's got a little rough edges. Meg Mage raided <laughs> Thank my you for the raid. Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil as Lunar possible. Lunar is now following. Thank you for the follow. Okay, we're on going up. up. Now, oh my gosh. We're doing a full Elder Scrolls playthrough. I don't even know how to follow. Oh, oh, space bar. Okay, because there's no jumping. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is chaotic. I've. <laughs> We're doing a finally arrived. So what, what we're doing here is we're doing what well, we were gonna do arena and daggerfall, but they're a little they're a little bit they're a little bit unplayable. <laughs> so we're just gonna skip to Morrowind and we're gonna do the same character through Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim. And we're gonna do Skyrim completely unmodded. For the first time in like since 2011, basically. <laughs> Completely unmodded. That means no Sky UI, no aesthetic mods. It's going to be vanilla Sky. I mean, it's going to be special edition, but it's going to be vanilla Skyrim. So we're going to do the same character throughout all of the games. That's the goal. So this right here is going to determine the character that we play for the next. Um, uh, three games, I guess. <laughs> uh, how are you guys doing? <laughs> yes, yeah, definitely don't forget to follow if you guys haven't already. Welcome everyone from Meg Major's stream. I know she's playing Oblivion right now and getting into Elder Scrolls universe as well as obviously the DC universe. <laughs> um, uh, hair? What the heck? <laughs> Wait. Why is it actually not terrible? It actually, the ponytail. Mm. But the thing is, if we do the ponytail now, we have to do the ponytail throughout the entire series. Mm. But I do think that it looks probably the best, and it's probably going to be the one that looks the best throughout all of the games. Uh, my my only concern is the is the is oblivion actually, because the you know the potato heads. <laughs> Um, hmm. This one would actually be more adaptable, I think. Because Skyrim has that hair and the. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe we should do the dark hair. Oh god. Oh no. Oh wait, this one? Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, this would be doable, actually. This would actually be doable. And we can see him evolve over time. Um, this is Arthur. Yeah, he's gonna be a Nord. I'm just gonna make him Nord the entire time. I'm not gonna do the beast rolls because because of Oblivion. <laughs> the beast rolls look terrible in Oblivion, and honestly, I don't like. Oh, you guys can't see it? That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's weird. Uh, this might be an Malwin instance where. Gifted okay. Oakcuscus a subscription. Thank you for Malwin the. Malwin ninety eight gifted a tier one oh sub to Oakcuscus. This is their first gift sub in the channel. Thank you so much. All right, let's try this. Let's try doing the desktop capture. Or display capture. Oh wait, that is not it. <laughs> that is. Oh, I think the game crashed. I was like, that's that's Alex Chen, that is not Morrowind. Okay, we might have to start over. <laughs> Hopefully this works though. Unfortunately, the older games are a lot harder to capture than the newer games, because, you know, technology has advanced significantly now. <laughs> so, um, I think I think I think OBS has some problems with capturing some of the older games because they're not necessarily compatible. But hopefully, hopefully we can still get through this. Okay, we'll just have to start over. That's okay. You guys can see the beginning. Oh my god, the fucking 
This is the first time we, I think this is the first time we hear this theme. This is also the game that Todd Howard jumped on. This is the first game that Todd Howard was involved in. Can you believe that? <laughs> the first game that Todd Howard was involved in. I don't know I don't know what his position was. I don't think he was like um I don't even know what his head I don't even know his title now. He's not <laughs> I think he's just the lead um, game developer, right? He's just the game designer. I don't think he has a fancy title. He just is known. He's just he's just the main guy. That's his title. He's just the main guy. Yes, by carriage and now by boat. To the east, tomorrow we meet. I guess he's technically the director. But I am watchful. I don't know if he's I don't know if he's the director in this. I don't know if Pete Hines is part of this. Wake up. Ready. We're here. Why are you I shaking? think Zenimax owned okay? Morrowind at this point. I mean, not Bethesda at this Stand point. Up. There you go. I don't think you they initially dreaming. did, but they What's did. What's your now. name? Because <laughs> uh, Bethesda was going bankrupt, I think. That's okay. Let's try it again. The music is iconic. The the I Morrowind music is so iconic. It is more iconic sure than the Oblivion gone. music, which is saying something. It's Why? just so it good. Oh my god. Okay. Let's... Oh, can we not save? We can't save. Okay. Maybe we just can't save yet. I don't know, wait, actually, maybe this is an instance where you can only save. Controls. What's... Quick save is F. Oh yeah, okay. Ogkuskus is now following. Alright. What did he say? Ogkuskus? I don't think that's it. <laughs> I don't think that's correct, but okay. He tried. I could be wrong. Is your name Cuscus? <laughs> <laughs> Unit X1 one is now following. Man, you're the as as civil as possible. I think it's couscous, right? Isn't it? <laughs> this is where they want. Where is the couscous? The dock, and I'll show you to the census office. <laughs> you finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. Um, Nord, definitely Nord. Yeah. <laughs> No, yeah, it's just the um, RT-800, our, our our mascot, our bot, <laughs> doesn't necessarily... It isn't necessarily all cor always correct. Okay, so I definitely think... I definitely think this is the one that we go for. I think we I think we do do this one, not this one. This one. I think we do this one. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. We're good. Okay. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. <laughs> Some more. <work. laughs> He's got a wide load. Get on in. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. <laughs> Get on in. Uh. Nah, I'm sure you can. It's just that, um... Get on in. It's not spacebar. <laughs> or maybe it is spacebar. <laughs> just jumping. It's okay, I'll figure uh, it out. Yes, we've been expecting I actually have done the opening uh, You'll have to be recorded before ago. you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. Nah, the choice is mine. Oh, should we do the quiz? I was gonna just do night, but maybe we should do the quiz, and the quiz will determine. The quiz will determine the. I can I'll, I can always adjust the, the the controls later. The quiz can determine the class that we play the entire time. 
Oh yeah, we should do the quiz. Let's do the quiz. Wait. Yeah, let's do the quiz. On a clean and whatever day, whatever comes up is our class the entire time. Judging Through from the bleeding, Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim, long. it's gonna be the same what class. Do you do? Okay. On a clear day, you you chance upon a strange animal. It's trapped in a hunter's claw snare. Judging from the bleeding, it will not survive long. What do you do? Do not interfere in the natural evolution of events, but rather take the opportunity to learn more about a strange animal that you would have never seen before. Draw your dagger, mercifully ending its life with a single thrust. Use herbs from your pack to put it to sleep. I think I'll do the dagger. Thank you. I think I'll do the dagger. Because I do think that mercifully killing them is probably the better way to do it anyways. Um, for an animal that obviously cannot live. It would be hard, but it's probably the right move to do. One summer afternoon, your father gives you a choice of chores. Okay. What would you rather do? Go catch a fish at the stream using a net and line. Gather herbs for your mother, who is preparing dinner. Work in the forge with him, casting iron for a new plow. I think I would do the herbs. I think I'd do the herbs. I mean, forging is nice, but I think... Your cousin has given you a very embarrassing nickname, and even worse, likes to call you <laughs> in front of your friends. Okay. You have asked him to stop, What's our nickname? but he finds it very amusing to watch you blush. What do you do? That sounds weird. Okay, um, you uh, make up an even more embarrassing nickname for him and use it constantly until he learns it's a lesson. Beat up your cousin and tell him that if he ever calls you the nickname again, you will bloody person. <laughs> okay, not that one. Oh no, me. Make up a story that makes your nickname a badge of honor instead of something humiliating. Okay, wait, no, but we're role playing. Okay, we're role playing. Not, we're not choosing because <laughs> this is not a personality quiz. This is personality quiz for okay. Um, I think we do the badge of honor one. We do the badge. There of is honor. a lot of heated discussion at the local tavern over a group of people called telepaths. They've been hired by certain city-state kings. Rumor has it these telepaths read a person's mind and tell their lord whether a follower is telling the truth or not. Mm. You believe what? This is a terrible practice. A person's thoughts are his own and no one, not even a king, has the right to make such an invasion into another person's human's mind. In these times, it is a necessary evil... Although you do not necessarily like the idea, a telepath could have certain advantages during the time of war or in finding someone innocent of a crime. Loyal followers to the king have nothing to fear from a telepath. It is important to have a method of finding assassins and spies before it is too late. Hmm. What would my character think? What would Arthur think? I think, I think he, mm. I definitely don't think it's the last one. I think, although, mm. are we trying to go for a hero or a villain though? Or could, you know, um, It's a necessary evil, is what what my character, what Arthur would say. He definitely doesn't like it. Hmm. Yeah, I think it, it could be a necessary evil. 
Your mother sends you to the market with a list of goods to buy. After you finish, you find that by mistake a shopkeeper has given you too much money back in exchange for one of the items. What do you do? Again, this is the character, not me. <laughs> but, um, we're gonna pocket the money. <laughs> While in a marketplace, you witness a thief cut a purse from a noble. Even as he does so, the noble notices and calls for the city guards. In his haste to get away, the thief drops the purse near you. Surprisingly, no one seems to notice the bag of coins at your feet. What do you do? Yeah, we pick up the po we pick up the bag and pocket it, knowing that the the extra windfall will help your family in times of trouble. Your father sends you on a task which you loathe, cleaning the stables. On the way there, pitchfork in hand, you run into your friend from the homestead near your own. He offers to do it for you, in return for a future favor of his choosing. What do you do? Hmm. The client is offered, knowing that your father expects you to do the work, and it is not better. It is better not to be in debt. Yeah, we're Your mother that. asks you to help fix the stove. While you're working, a very hot pipe slips its moorings and falls towards her. What do you do? Um. Push. Uh. I think. I think we're. Hmm. Like reposition yourself. Mm. Push my mother. Let's let's do the position yourself between the pipe and the and, and mother and your mother. While in town, the baker gives you a sweet roll. Delighted, you take it into an alley to enjoy, only to be intercepted by a gang of three other Excuse kids me. your age. <laughs> The leader demands the sweet roll, or else he and his friends will beat you and take it. <laughs> what do you do? I act like you're going to give him the sweet roll, but at the last minute, throw it in the air, hoping that they'll pay attention to it long enough for you to get a shot at on the leaner. Give him the sweet roll now without argument, knowing that later afternoon you will have all your friends with you and you can come and, okay i think we do this entering one. town you find that you are so let's to a very well dressed girl. man running from a crowd he screams to you for help the crowd behind him seems very angry what do you do huh well we don't actually know what's happening <laughs> okay hmm a well-dressed man running from a crowd. He screams for help. I think... Hmm, I think our logic <laughs> is not to join the mob. I think because he specifically asked for help, we try to help him. Even though we don't know the full situation, we can maybe act as a mediator and kind of de-escalate the situation. A pilgrim? What the heck is a pilgrim? Um, hmm. a pilgrim? <laughs> okay, I think we should go back. And <laughs> I, I think I need a, I need a class that actually translates across um okay let's 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 be more specific i think we need to be more specific i, I think we need to day, you chance upon choose a route a and stick animal. with it <laughs> it's leg trapped in a hunter's claw snare. okay judging from the bleeding it will not survive long what do you do okay we need to be consistent we need to be consistent and we need to just like pick a side okay Definitely the dagger. One summer afternoon, your father gives you a choice of chores. What would you rather do? I think while the herbs sound good, I think that's too innocent. 
So I think... I think we should go fish. Your cousin has given you a very embarrassing That's more like nickname, a and even worse, likes to call you it in front of your friends. You have asked him to stop, but he finds it very amusing to watch you blush. Um. What do you do? Hmm. So beating him up is physical. Like we 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 do strength. If we make up more, like a more embarrassing thing, and it, that's kind of sly. It's kind of being sneaky about it. I think we go with that. I think we go. With there this is one. a lot of heated discussion at the local tavern over a group of people called telepaths. They've been hired by certain city states. This one teams. I'm not sure about. Rumor has it these telepaths read a person's mind and tell their lord. I think we say this is a terrible truth, practice. Or not. Because that person you could be us. And now, I mean, the reasoning that we give, whatever. But I think what we do is we say it's a terrible practice because we don't want it done to us. That would make Your sense. Your mother sends you to the market with a list of goods to buy. After you finish. You find that by mistake a shopkeeper is giving you extra two. money. While in a marketplace, you with your oh wait no, that's, I chose the wrong option. This guy, <laughs> I chose the wrong stables. option. On the I, way I there, fast. Fork in hand, <laughs> okay. you run into your friend from the homestead near your own. He offers to do it for you in return for a future favor. Of no, his your mother asks you to help fix the stove. I while think you're working, we push the very him hot pipe away. slips its moorings, and while in town, the baker gives you a sweet roll. Delighted, you take we it into an alley to enjoy. Do the... Only to be inter this one. entering town, you find that you are witness to a very well dressed man running from a crowd. He screams to you for help. The crowd behind him. I think we stand aside. Rogue. Yeah, 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 I like that better. Hmm. So I guess we're gonna be a rogue the entire time. That's better than Pilgrim. <laughs> okay. Very we'll go good. With that. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain I've sign. I've never actually been a full and what rogue would before. That be? Ooh, the sign. See, this sign is also gonna be the same. Let me just look at this. So rogue class. A rogue class, fleet of feet, fleet of foot, as well as tongue. Uh, the rogue is a class akin to the thief. Trained in weapon and armor arts, rogues pass. Rogues possess agility and cunning, suiting them for a diverse role-playing experience. Rogues employ speed in combat rather than a physical prowess. Uh, interesting. With a gift. So, rogues. Kind of blades, yeah. So, we could do like a. Um, we could definitely do like a. Um, a sneak thief, potentially speaking. Anyways, uh, I definitely know that rogues have light armor. I think we just go with the thief. Yeah, I think we're the thief stone. If we're a rogue, we should probably do the thief stone. I wonder if we can get. Maybe. I don't know if I should bring. <laughs> actually, what I'm curious about. Hang on. I actually want to see what the list is. Okay. We could technically do a random. Or what we just take it? Okay, I think I accidentally chose the wrong answer once. So On a clear day, you chance upon a strange animal, its leg trapped in a hunter's claw. What snare. if we do? What if we Judging do the herbs from the bleak, this time? One summer afternoon, your father gives you a choice of chores. 
What we would do you the earth? Your cousin has given you a very embarrassing nickname and even worse. And likes beat to him call up. you it. There is a lot of heated discussion at the local tavern. It's your a mother practice. sends you to the market with a list of goods to buy. After you finish, Talk the money. you find that by mis while in a marketplace, you witness a bag thief. and pocket it. Your father sends you on a task which you loathe, cleaning the stables. On the way there, pitchfork in hand, you Still run to your friend from the homestead near your own. Your mother asks you to help fix the stove. While you're working, a very hot pipe slips its moorings Grab and falls and toward you. While in town, the baker gives you a sweet roll. Delighted you take it. Entering town, you find that you are witness to a very well-dressed man running from a crowd. He screams to... Spell sword. <laughs> I think that was worse. What do we just? I think we just choose the class that we actually want. You know what? <laughs> I don't know, man. On a clear day, you chance upon a strange animal. What if we just take the quiz until animal. we like the answer? Its leg trapped in a hunter's claw snare. Judging from the bleeding, it will not survive long. What do you? One summer afternoon, your father gives you a choice of chores. Your cousin has given you a very embarrassing nickname, and even worse, there is a lot of heated discussion at the local tavern over a group. Your mother sends you to the market with a list of goods to buy. After you, while in a marketplace, you witness your father sends you on a task which you loathe, cleaning the stables. On the way there, pitchfork in hand, you run. Your mother asks you to help fix the stove. While you're working, a very hot pipe slips its moorings and falls. While in town, the baker gives you a sweet roll. Delighted, you take it in. Entering town, you find that you are witness to a very well-dressed man running from a crowd. He screams to you for help. The crowd behind him seems very angry. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we can do the thief. <laughs> Let me just be an assassin. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Now, okay. before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Okay, okay, so, here's, here's what it is. We are Arthur Talon, Nord, Assassin, Thief Sign, and yeah. Yeah, that, I think that actually works better, because honestly, it's probably the better class. <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's see, okay. All right. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. Okay, I think. Okay, let me see. Jump is E. Yeah, I'm gonna switch this. So this is gonna be spacebar. And use. Activate is E. I'll go POV, each tab. Yeah, that's fine. Ready weapon, uh, we need to do Q. Ready magic, we can do... Actually, we can take it, we can make it R. Sneak. Wait. Ooh, for re for release by Emperor Uriel Septim the Seventh decree to the district of Vard Vardenfell in the province of Morrowind. Name Arthur Talon, race Nord, class assassin. Signed. S Ergala, <laughs> agent of the Sedanin Imperial Census and Excise. Okay. Oh, wait, actually, I want to take this. There we go. Okay. Continue through to the next building and talk to Celis Gravius. Okay. Oh, wait, this is the wrong way. Alright, here we go. Oh wait, just kidding. Uh, I think 
we go this way. I think this was the right way, yeah. Next building. So we exited here, I think we go over here. Oh wait, no. I think we went out the wrong way. I'm an officer of the Imperial Legion. Move along. Imperial. Wait, huh? Oh, wait, huh? Okay. What do you want? That's okay. Close. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, I don't know why I didn't work hmm. this time. Uh, release identification has been removed. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I forgot I need to read. <laughs> First, let me tell you my your indicate uh, your identification. Sorry. First, let me take your identification papers. Thank you. Word of your arrival only reached me yesterday. I am Celis and Gravius, but my background is not important. I'm here to welcome you to Morrowind. Okay? What is your background? I am C Okay. Knight Errant of the Imperial Legion. Okay. Uh, lore. I'm proud to be an imperial. Through our allegiance and the rule of law, we've brought peace and civilization to the provinces of Tymrail. The legions hire qualified recruits of proven skill and character and provide training, goods, and services at discounts. The lower ranks are, are common troops and officers. But the upper ranks include the orders of the Imperial Knights. Yes, you're in Morrowind. I don't know why you're here or why you were released from prison and shipped here, but your authorization comes directly from the Emperor from Emperor Uriel Septon the Seventh himself. And I don't need to know any more than that. When you leave this office, you are a free man. But, before you go, I have instructions on your duties. Instructions from the Emperor, so pay careful attention. Okay, Euro Septim. Yes, Euro Septim is still the Emperor according to my instructions. He personally authorized your release from the prison and the delivery here. It's all very mysterious. But the way the emperor, uh, the empire works, uh, silence, secrecy. Let not the left hand know what the, what, what the right hand is doing. Okay, the the emperor. Yes, of course. This is the oh the empire. Sorry. Yes, of course. This is the empire. This is Vardenfell district of the province of Morrowind, and Morrowind has been part of the Empire for over 400 years. The current Emperor is Uriel Septim, 24th of the Septim line. You haven't been in prison that long, have you? 
Nothing wrong with your head, is there? The men said you were acting a little strange when they brought you in from the ship. Jeez, dude. <laughs> okay. Uh, duties? This package came with the news of your arrival. You are to take it to Caius Cosatis in the uh, town of Belmora. Go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for Caius Casadas. Uh, they'll know where to find him. Serve him as you would serve the Emperor himself. I also have a letter for you and a dis dispersal uh, to your name. Okay. What about this guy? Caius Casadas reports. Ex okay. I think oh my trade I am the knight and PK all right I think oh Balmor Balmor is north of St. Anin the road passes Paligad uh, village and Fort Paligad crosses at a deep ravine passes okay these are just directions, okay. All right, let's let's continue then. Oh, let's actually read. My orders are to go to the town of Balmora in Vadenfell, uh, the district, and report to a man named Caius Posadas. Um, to find out where he lives, I should ask in Balmora at the corner club called South Wall. When I find Caius Casadas, I must give him a package of documents and wait for further news or further orders. Okay. Um. All right. What about? Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. What about? I should change that up. Okay. But still, uh, I don't have any weapons, it looks like. Don't I have. Okay. Oh, misc. Directions to. Press J to use your journal and review what you've been told. You should probably check, okay, up up on the left here on your own now. Good luck. Okay, cool. What's up? Welcome to Aurelius 
Aerials? <laughs> uh, trade house. I barter for goods or coin. I also have a small selection of spells for sale. No credit. You want a little advice? That's free. That's all that's free. Would you like to hear about our most popular potions or most popular scrolls? Um. Uh. Uh, latest rumors. I heard that Fiskar upstairs is having some financial troubles. Can't seem to win a wager these days. Okay. How about a little bit of ice? If you want to live to a ripe old age, buy a weapon and as much armor as you can wear and still run from trouble. Buy a spell or two and practice your skills. Don't practice on citizens. We call that foul murder, and we don't like it. But you can kill smugglers and bandits and other outlaws all you like. Outlaws have no rights. Plenty of adventurers make a living from killing and looting outlaws. That smuggler scum down in the Adamas... Oh my god. <laughs> Adamasartus, uh, for instance, the cave down near the Silt Strider platform. Okay. Um, that's barter. Okay, we have zero. <laughs> I don't think. Oh, well, we. Oh, we. Had, I think we have eighty-seven gold. Okay. I don't think we can buy anything, but. We can try. Oh, wait, actually, 87 gold. We can get like a sword. I think it would be good to get a sword. I think we get an iron sword. Mm. Yeah, I think we get. Ooh. Okay, silver sword is too expensive. Let's get an iron sword. Just one. Thank you. Iron short sword. Nice. Apparel, we're fine with the clothes that we have. We're not gonna buy clothes. Um, let's get maybe a bow and some arrows? Question mark? Oh yeah. Um, iron arrow. I don't think we can buy all these. Let's see. One. We have... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. Um, we can try to buy it all. <laughs> Let's try to buy it. Okay. What if we lower the cost a little bit? How about 70? Did that work? <laughs> I guess that worked. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess that worked. Okay, goodbye. My patience is limited. Um, okay. Okay, so now... Okay, okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, weapons. Let's, uh... Oh my god. Oh no, I think we just, um... Again. Okay, so use is it out and then E and then ready weapon is Q. Okay. Ah, there's my sword. Okay. And then if we do we have our bow. Okay. So this is just easy, easy clap. And then um Okay. Alright. What the? Is that is it activate? Oh, yeah, I don't think it's activate. <laughs> um, what would make more sense? Or, I mean, we could just not be able to read it. Use right. Always run top of the page. 
Arthur Talon, you have been given these directions and a package of documents. Do not show them to anyone. Do not attempt to read the documents in the package. The package has been sealed and your tampering will be discovered and punished. Oh. Follow these directions. Proceed to the town of Balmora in the Vardenfell district. Report to a man named Caius Casadas. He will be your superior and patron. You will follow a patron. <laughs> That's a patron. Like the tequila. <laughs> uh, you will follow his orders. His residence is not noon. But ask at the corner club called South Wall. People there will know where you to find a chaos. Oh my god, I thought of music. Nope, no mods, no mods at all. We are not doing any mods. We're doing a full Elder Scrolls playthrough. Well, except Daggerfall and more. Except for Daggerfall and Arena because I. They're too old. We're doing a full. A full Elder Scrolls playthrough. So we're doing three, four, and five. Yes, Skyrim is going to be completely unmodded. No mods whatsoever. Although it is special edition, so it'll be like the, you know, fishing and stuff. But it's just going to be un completely unmodded, which has to mean that means we have to bear through the, um, the, 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 the HUD. <laughs> it's going to be weird, but we're going to do it. And we're going to do the same character for every single one of the games. Same name, same gender, same, same looks. We're going to get as close to it as possible, even the same class. That's why this playthrough is going to be very important. More important than uh, anything. I mean, we can still evolve the morals and everything. I'm sure that'll evolve. Okay, so we've read that. Now we know how to read. Can we... <laughs> Wait, we could probably decipher this. We can, we can probably decipher this. <laughs> I wonder if there's, there's definitely someone who has tried to decipher this. Okay, anyways. Well, actually, wait. Hang on. No, I actually want to do this. <laughs> okay, so this part is probably Morrowind, right? That would make sense if this was Morrowind. But if this is Morwen, that means the M is M. Uriel Septon. Hmm. What? If, okay, I think it's Uriel Septon. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I, don't, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> You're punished. Okay, goodbye. Who are you? Yes, what do you want? If you're looking to get out of Selenim, I'll be happy to give you a little advice. Okay. New here? Take the Silt Strider to Vivic or Balmora. Fast and cheap. No trouble with wild animals, and smugglers, and bandits, and outlaws. Go see Darvain Claren over at the Strata Port, over the bridge, and east along the water. Tell her Vol Vodunius Nucius sent you. Okay. Goodbye. I think we're gonna go this way. I mean, we could just not do that. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I thought this was gonna be unreadable. Okay. Balmora is this way. You know what? Let's. Ooh. Let me. S oh yeah, we need to save. Um. I get. Ooh. F five. I don't know 
know if that worked. <laughs> I don't know if that worked. <laughs> Alright, I guess we got... I assume that I would need to equip it. Maybe if I'm in bow mode? Hmm. Maybe we should just ignore the bow. I mean, sword is pretty easy, right? Hmm. Okay, so obviously... Maybe we have to put it on him. Wait, that worked. Oh my god. <laughs> We're in an endless loop. <laughs> yeah, I'm figure that out. <laughs> That's okay. Oh wait, no. Okay, yeah, we lost an arrow. That's okay. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna get the sword. <laughs> All right, we'll do this. Who are you? Greetings, my friend. It is I. Who the fuck are you? Ah, I see you have heard of me. I am surprised. No, no. Do not tremble in fear. Now Slendo is a reasonable man. Hardly the cutthroat some would make me out to be. I offer you a fair and a healthy proposition. Proposition? A very simple proposition, actually. You will give me 50 septums, and in return, you will be allowed to continue safely on your journey. <laughs> Now Slendo gives you his word as a gentleman that once you transact once our transaction has taken place, you have nothing to fear <laughs> from me. In fact, I can be a very good friend to have. What say you? Never You in Sorry, what did you say? Did he call me an <laughs> I don't think that's what he said, but that's what it sounded like. Um, <laughs> I fear you are making an unwished decision, my friend, but so be it, though I hate to soil my clothes with your blood. No matter, such is the life of those Okay. <laughs> I know it's like RNG based, but <laughs> I'm still gonna I'm just gonna keep <laughs> that worked. I can't. 
I'm gonna take his gold. Back here, we're gonna just take him. Ooh, we have free armor now. Thank you, dude. I probably just could have hit crit and take off, but that's okay. Alright, let's put on the armor. We finally have armor. What is this? I know we want this. What is this? Expensive pants, common pants. Expensive pants. Aha. Common shoes. Engraved ring of healing. I guess we could put that on. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, we are a little bit low in health, um, and I'm pretty sure there's no restoration on the health yet. I think that's something that I heard, but I could be wrong. Um, hmm. We'll see. We'll figure it out. It's okay. Okay, what is this? Scrub jelly. And I'm not looking for help, by the way. I'm just uh, speaking out loud. They're trying to find some like herbs and stuff. Who are you? You're not from around here, are you? Then it's just as well you keep moving. We don't like, we don't much like strangers around here. Good day. All right, goodbye. Okay, any like marshmallow? Oh. Nah. <laughs> Cure paralysis. Oh, drain fatigue. That's not good. Oh, we st oh, so this one that restores health. Okay. I should probably pay attention to what the effects do. Oh, it has no effect. I thought it. Um, okay, that's okay. Kidding. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think there's actually a. Okay. Interesting. I think we have to make a potion. Actually asked for help. <laughs> Let me figure it out. I'll figure it out. It's fine. I am smart. I am smart. I'll figure it out. <laughs> but thank you. Is anybody in? Oh, oh nobody's in here. Okay. Let me just take this.
Oh, we can save now. That's good. We'll just keep a uh, main save. Let's continue our journey to Balmora. It is interesting seeing the creatures now versus how they were in Skyrim. There's actually a lore inconsistency uh, in Skyrim about Morrowind. Yeah. Like the one off line about, uh, not sugar gliders, the, the things. <laughs> I forget what they're called. Uh, just a friendly warning don't spook the netch. Don't worry, they're uh, completely safe. You but to get them riled up in their trouble, especially the Betty Match. Thanks. Okay. Spit it out of you. Huh? Okay. What's over here? I did not give the bandit an else and lent him the money he desired. He attacked me. <laughs> yes, that's how things work. Plantation? Who is here? Who are you? I don't know you. What do you want? Um. Uh, back up? I am Dreg's warrior. It's true. You've, you, I heard there has been some trouble up at Fort Frostmouth, Moth. Never heard of it? It's an island called Solstheim, North Vardadel. Hmm. Solstheim? A miserable place from what I've heard. Too cold for me. I understand there's someone in cool who will take folks there. Interesting, we go to the source thing. Little advice. If you were as if if you were to ask me for the model of a warrior, I'd have to say Miles Gloriosus. He's at the Addis Trade House in Margon. Right now, on a crusade to kill off all the monsters sneaking through the ghost fence. But he always has time to talk with an admirer. How about a little secret? Buy from merchants and traders who like you. You get better prices. Members of your own factions usually like the, your best. Like you best. Okay. Um. How about my trade? I'm a warrior by trade. I know how to fight then when necessary. But I much rather look so tough that critters give up or run away when they see me. Personally, I favor long blades of, of all kinds. They use long blades of many different styles and craftsmanship here in Morrowind. And I wear medium armor for a decent balance of protection and mobility. But I trained with various weapon types and armor types, and like any good warrior, I'm my own armor. Don't want to fight with the worn weapons and worn armor. Okay. Hey, you. I don't know you. <laughs> Alright, let's go head to Balmora. Ooh. 
Sorry, does it say restore personality? Oh, it does. It does say that. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Heather. Heather restores personality. Hmm. It's like a sanity thing. Drain personality. Oh no. <laughs> So I guess that's the known base effect. Interesting. Interesting. So you don't have to eat them to figure out what they do initially. Interesting. Hmm. Where's the road? Okay. I think we is pretty though. Alright, let's see. I think we can just head down here. Seems to be the case. Yeah, okay. Target. Alright. Let me actually, I think we can make this bigger. this kind of tiny. Let's do it like this and then we can do like long ways maybe. This one. We just actually make that smaller. Or maybe we just make this all kind of small. Decently big. I think. All right, let's continue. Away we go. Sorry, once again. Keep going then.
are you? I don't know you. What do you want? Uh, I guess nothing. Hello? Yes, nothing. Can I see here? Make it quick. <laughs> okay, you <laughs> can't see there. Alright, I think once we get the bomb war, people will want to talk to us then. Maybe we're going the wrong what way. What is it, peasant? Um, uh, Justin. Terrifying. Okay. All right. Let's see. So then we know that this is now that. So maybe we go down here. So we want to go like up here. Okay, so maybe if we just go north. Even though I don't really know where north is, but it's okay. Oh, and if we go down here. Yeah, I think we go down here. Because it looks like, yeah. Although this gives you more water, interesting. But I think it circles around. Okay. We'll find out. Let's just continue exploring. Someone here? Farmhouse. Hmm. We go the other way? Hmm. Maybe we should go the other way. Let me turn around. Hmm. Then maybe we should just follow this road. I think we're trying to get over here. So yeah, we'll just continue in this direction. Just go straight. Just across the water. Just a friendly. Okay, yeah. What is it, peasant? Oh, wait, you're the one who. Okay. Interesting. Well, there's a sign. Let's read it. Ah, this way. Yeah, this way. Okay. Now we just follow the road from here. Follow the 
the brown brick road. Follow the brown brick road. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard. <laughs> Something bad. <laughs> think that maybe in a couple of years we'll finally get something Outer Scrolls 6 related. Probably a trailer. <laughs> well, we have Starfield first. Hopefully in February or something like that. It's supposed to be early 2023. But who knows? Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's not going to be right. I am looking forward to Starfield though. It definitely I'm hoping that is good. <laughs> you don't need a repeat of Fallout 76. I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm not too concerned about bugs. I mean unless this is like game breaking. I think bugs is normal for games nowadays. Because it's impossible to get them all. And I think as long as, you know, they fix most of them up over time, it's fine. Just follow the things with a little too buggy. I mean, bugs add personality, I think. I feel like nowadays, I think we're more used to bugs nowadays used to seeing games with bugs in the initial release and I don't think I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing I think as long as it's like as long as most of the major bugs are out of the game I think a few bugs every now and then is fine again as long as they get fixed <laughs> I am going to Balmora, right? Yeah, Balmora. I've heard rumors of an island to the north of Vardenfell named the Solstar. This is apparently an imperial fort named Fort, fort Foster. I've been told there is now a boat in Pool that offers transport to the island of Solstar. I wonder if Sol Pool is right. Is, um, Oh, so I think it's I don't think pool is I guess this is so right yeah I think we have a long way to get to <laughs> uh, that's okay I'm sure we will make ourselves across the continent. I think 2023 is going to be a big year for video games. We got a lot of games coming out in 2023 because of you know, the pandemic delays and everything. So I definitely think 2023 is going to be a, an interesting year for games. We got Gotham Knights, Suicide Squad, uh, Starfield, Harry Potter. Well, I think actually Harry Potter's coming out. Yeah, Harry Potter's February, I think. Um, ooh, what is this? No idea what this is. Okay. Um, should I make it seven? What the fuck are you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> what is... <laughs> what are you? Die, Ow. 
I, I thought I was helping you, dude. Oh god, I'm stuck. Uh oh. I'm stuck. Oh. 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 Fuck you. Fuck you. Die, you no, stupid Die. Okay, yeah, that was not gonna work. Yes, reload. <laughs> okay. side right now. See ya. Thanks for stopping by. We should just leave. <laughs> yeah, let's just leave, you know. Although I'm wondering.
turn around. What is this? I mean, how did I end up over here? What the heck? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
And then we just do this. I just need to make sure that this is good. Um. Speedy underscore cat is now following. Thank you, follow. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. Uh, just trying to fix the YouTube video. Pretty cat. Okay, let me try to get to Balmora. <laughs> How did I end up here? <laughs> okay, uh, let's try to find the road again. I think we just have to follow the road back to the sign. I think we, I think we got off course a little bit. <laughs> you have a thing for me? That's weird. I don't know you, dude. What do you mean you have a thing for me? You don't mean. <laughs> I think you. I think you uh, worded that <laughs> wrong. <laughs> there. <laughs> I. I think I. Um, I think I. 
think you gotta watch what you how you say things. I thought you said I have a thing for you, as in like, <laughs> you know, I have a thing for you. <laughs> you just had a, a link for me. <laughs> that is completely different. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? I was about to ban you, dude. <laughs> it's a good thing you clarified and quickly. You know how Twitch people are like. <laughs> Some of them actually mean the that. <laughs> Wait, is this? Oh, okay. Well, I don't want to be here. I want to be in Balmora, so I guess we go this way. At least now I know we're going the right direction. That's interesting. Cool. Is it was before the wiki days. <laughs> now you have the UESP thing that everybody uses. Ooh, there's the oblivion symbol. I think we're in the right place. Who are you? I haven't seen you before before, have I? You have a question? Um, who are you? Background. I'm Hull. Pop. Oh. Popper. Okay, she he's a popper. Uh Balmora? Balmora is the council seat of Great House Flalu. Flalu? That's not it. <laughs> That's what we're going for though. And the largest town on Vardenfell, except for Vivic City, located on the Odai River and sitting astride the Aldrun Vivic Road, Balmora is an important mercantile trade and travel center. High Town is the administrative. Uh, center with the temple and manor houses, the shops, guilds, and trade house of the commercial district are, the, are north of the river. Labor towns, modest corner clubs, and homes are south of the river. Interesting. Latest rumors. The Legion champion Larius Varro over on over at Moonmorth. Legion Fort has sworn an oath to stop corruption. He hasn't had much luck going through official channels. The syndicates, the syndicates have got their people covered coming and going. He'll never get anywhere working through the system. He's going to have to uh, find someone who can get him around the system or through the system like straight and hard through the system. Okay. How about a little bit of vice? Don't fight when you're tired. Don't try to cast spells when you're tired. You'll fall much more often when, you, when you're tired. That's why veterans always carry a couple of restore fatigue potions for an emergency. Okay. Um... Uh, how about a little secret? If someone attacks you first, you have the right to defend yourself. If someone doesn't attack you first, you're going to break the law if you attack him. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, soul stein. Oh. Someone in particular. None of Flalu counselors live in Balmora. Nileno Dorvarian. Dor, Dor, Dorvain. At the council hall is the is the ranking Flalu 
a local at the Fighters Guild. Adis FireEye is the steward. Thassi, uh, Riv Riv Rivain is the Morag Tong steward. Fodrello Sadri is the steward for the Balmora Tribunal Temple. Sugar Lips Habasi is the local Thieves Guild boss. Who am I missing? Oh, <laughs> Mage's Guild. Renus Uthrus. It's, it's a steward. I see. Interesting. Hmm. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, oh sure. Easy. Yeah. This is for get clothes. Trader. I don't really have stuff to trade. I mean, because I have some stuff to trade. Armorer. Fighters Guild. Bookseller. This is the same building. The armor. Is it Guild of Mages. <laughs> is there something labeled Thieves Guild? <laughs> We stay over here. It is about time we kind of start wrapping up. Let's see. Hmm. Who are you? I just rumors. Plalu and the okay. You talk okay. too much out there. Wall Corner Club. Right. Eton. Hey, you. There used to be a mod where you can get um, the 
Boro and Beam. In Skyrim, you know, in the, the main title. I don't think it exists anymore in the special edition. Because of the copyright. I definitely prefer this version of the theme because it's so, uh, it's so, I don't know, uplifting I suppose. It's so nostalgic. Even, even if you've heard Skyrim before, like, you know, over and over and over again, I feel like I think Morrowind, the Morrowind theme is, feels more nostalgic or something. It definitely is interesting. This is Alchemist. Find Cluder. Oh, actually, I want to see the Alchemist. Hello. You want something? Hey, okay, never mind. Goodbye. I am not about to ask you about the... Wait... Huh? Say what you want or go away. Oh, there you are. You hey. address me with respect. Um... Southwall. Okay. What about... Can you talk to me about alchemy? Services. No, I guess not. Although, oh wait. Morag Tong offers services. But oh. Um. We can't just ask people about the boring tongue. Um, uh, background. Okay. Goodbye. What's this? Oh, my bad. I did not mean to take it. Okay. Um. <laughs> I did. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Okay. Reload. So. Um. <laughs> uh oh. Uh. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should have saved sooner rather than later. I forgot to save. Feels bad, man. I didn't mean to take it.
Once we get back to Belmora, we'll save and then we'll call it a day. And then tomorrow we will continue Morrowind, actually. And we will, um, yeah, we'll see what, what we can do with it. Definitely bound for it.